The following is a selected video from yourteacher.com where you can browse over 450 complete math lessons with example videos, interactive practice problems, self-tests, and more. Try a complete lesson today at yourteacher.com. In this problem, we're asked to name the lines that must be parallel using the diagram shown and the given information below. In part A, we're given that angle 1 is congruent to angle 3, and we're asked to name the lines that must be parallel based on this information. Notice that angles 1 and 3 are formed by lines M and N and the transversal L. And notice that they are corresponding angles because they are in the same position, the upper left, relative to the lines that form them. Therefore, lines M and N must be parallel because if two lines are cut by a transversal and corresponding angles are congruent, then the lines are parallel. In Part B, we're given that angles 6 and 10 are supplementary and we're asked to name the lines that must be parallel based on this information. Notice that angles 6 and 10 are formed by lines L and K and the transversal M. And notice that they are same side interior angles because they are on the interior of lines L and K and on the same side of the transversal M. Therefore, lines L and K must be parallel because if two lines are cut by a transversal and same side interior angles are supplementary, then the lines are parallel. In Part C, we're given that angle 14 is congruent to angle 11, and we're asked to name the lines that must be parallel based on this information. Notice that angles 14 and 11 are formed by lines M and N and the transversal K. And notice that they are alternate interior angles because they are on the interior of lines M and N and on alternate sides of the transversal K. Therefore, lines M and N must be parallel because if two lines are cut by a transversal and alternate interior angles are congruent, then the lines are parallel. <laughs> 